This is video number three. What is this course about? In 2007, the U.S. economy fell into the worst recession we've experienced since the Great Depression. What is a recession? In normal times, a nation's GDP, that is our total output of goods and services, grows at about 3% a year. This is the same rate that our potential GDP, that is our resource base, grows. During a recession, the economy slows down. GDP actually falls for a period of at least six months. Because we're producing less goods and services, businesses need fewer workers, and so unemployment rises as layoffs take place. During the most recent recession, we lost, and this is as of the end of 2011, we lost 7.6% of cumulative GDP since the recession began. That comes out to a cost of more than $4.5 trillion worth of goods and services, or roughly one-third of GDP. Imagine losing a third of your annual income. The problem is even worse because we're not back to normal yet. Even though the recession is technically over, things aren't the same. The reason is that during 2012, our potential GDP continued to grow at 3% a year, but our actual GDP only grew at about 2% a year. So not only have we not caught up yet, we're continuing to fall behind. We're continuing to produce less than our potential, which means the lost output is still growing. And we can't ever get that back. Imagine losing 40% or more of your annual income. If you look at the handout, you'll see the chart with potential versus actual income, and I think you'll be able to see this a lot more clearly. Another way to look at the recession is by looking at jobs. We lost more than 7 million jobs during the recession. As you can see from the chart, while we've been gaining jobs since the end of 2009, we're still only halfway back to the number of jobs we had when the recession began. And on top of that, the size of the labor force, that is the number of people employed or looking for jobs, has continued to grow. In the mid-2000s, the U.S. unemployment rate averaged about 5%. You can think of 5% unemployment as normal. During the Great Recession, this thing that we're still coming out of, the unemployment rate hit 10% in October 2009. That's a doubling of, of normal unemployment. And even now, the unemployment rate is 8.2%, more than 60% above normal. Even more important is that 5.2 million workers, 5.2 million, or more than 40% of the total unemployed, are considered long-term unemployed. That means they've been out of work for more than a year. If this seems academic to you, consider the following. How hard will it be for you to find a job when you graduate from Mary Washington? In normal times, it takes an average of about six months for one of our graduates in the economics program to find a job. Over the past few years, that time has increased to eight or nine months. If all of this wasn't enough, the recession also spread worldwide. You may have heard of the Euro crisis that's going on in the world now. The economic problems are even worse in Europe than they are in the U.S. So this course will seek to explain what caused the Great Recession and what can and should our government do to get the U.S. economy back on track. Of course, to answer those questions, we need to learn some basics first. What is economics and why is it relevant? How do economists study issues and problems? How do economies organize themselves to deal with the economic problem? How do markets work? What determines the pace of economic activity? What can government do to speed up the economy or slow it down? And superimposed on all of this will be the 2012 presidential election, which is going to sort of highlight a number of these important issues that we're going to be studying. Which candidate has the best economic platform, the platform that will move this country where it needs to go? Stay tuned. Thank you.